Hello everyone, Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side and today we are going to solve a very very important problem from partial differential equation. We have to solve this problem t minus xq equals to x squared. It's a very very important problem and uh, it's uh, a bit tricky because we take one assumption. So let's see how to solve this. I hope you know what is PQRS and t in partial differential equation. If not, let's have a glimpse at that. Your P is del Z by del X. Your Q is del Z by del Y. Your R is del 2 Z by del X square. Your S is del 2z by del x del y and finally comes your t del 2z by del y square. Let's move ahead. How can we write this? We can write this as t which is del 2z divided by del y square. minus x times q. What is q? Your q is del z by del y equals to x square. Fine. So, if we take del z by del y as let's say a for some time. So this is, can be written as del by del y of del z by del y minus x times del z by del y equals to x square. Now if you take that as a, this can be written as del a by del y minus x times a equals to x square. Now comes the important assumption which I was talking about. Uh, we will assume we will assume z to be a function of y only. On that assumption, we can write this as because if z is a function of y only, then del z by del y, which is my a, that will also be a function of y and that further derivative will also be a function of y or a constant. So this can now be written as dA by dy. Don't worry, we are, we'll make the adjustment at the last. So dA by dy minus x times a equals to x square. Now if we compare this to with uh, this dy by dx plus a function of x to y equals to another function of x, then you will realize that this is more or less similar. Okay. What, uh, and in this case, we used to write our integrating factor as e power p dx. So whatever was at the bottom, we used to integrate with respect to that. Don't confuse here, whatever was at the bottom we used to integrate with respect to that. So here at bottom we have a y, fine. And uh, this is similar, you have whatever is here, the function of x is multiplied by the same thing. Here you see a and a, so quite similar to that. So in our case, you can easily find your integrating factor which will be e power 
integral of minus x with respect to y so dy so x can minus x can come out integration of dy is y so you are getting your integrating factor as e power minus x and integration of dy is y so e power minus x y now in this case we used to write our final solution as y into integrating factor integral q integrating factor dx here in place of dx just y will be there and in place of y a will be there so a into integrating factor which is e power minus xy is integral of q into integrating factor integrate with respect to y a e power minus x y because we are integrating with respect to y we can treat this minus x and x square as constant so x square goes out integration of uh, this e power a x with respect to x is nothing but e power a x divided by a because there we treat a as a constant here in the similar fashion it will be e power minus x y divided by minus x because again here we have treated this as a constant isn't it so this goes something like this so this x goes cancel in one time fine plus a constant c fine so what as we can do now uh, we can write this as a e power minus x y x e power minus x y fine and plus c so we can write this as uh, a divided by e power x y equals to minus of x divided by e power x y plus c so now this is a divided by e power x y minus x plus c e C e oh. C e power x y and this whole divided by e power x y. I can cancel this out. Now upon cancelling, you get finally a equals to minus x plus c. E power x y. So a was your what was your a? A was a was del z by del y I think. But before that, we assume. this to z to be completely a function of y but that is not the case z is the function of z is a function of x and y both but i assume that completely to be a function of y so to compensate this constant which is appearing i can take that as a function of x so now i can write this as del z by del y minus x plus function of x let's say phi of x e power x y now it is correct now in order to find uh, z from here let's uh, go to direct integration which you already know just integrate partially with respect to 
y both sides so you get z here plus so because we are integrating with respect to y the constant will be a constant will be a function of x so let's treat that as f of x so z equals to integration of dy minus x comes out integration of dy is y so minus xy plus integration of uh, e power xy similar we did earlier phi of x comes out e power xy divided by x plus f of x so now in uh, some textbook i see this phi of x divided phi of x is a function of x so phi of x divided by x can also be written as a function of x so they finally write this as this phi of x by x they treat as a function of x so they write this as g of x e power xy plus f of x this is your final answer so a lot of assumption was there but the assumption we took initially that z is a function of y only later on we compensated by saying that uh, uh, it is not a function of uh, y only it is a function of x also so let's write this constant as a function of x to compensate so if we want to summarize this first step identify pqrs replace that take del z by del y as a look something like that assume this to be a function of y alone so this will come to ordinary similar to dy by dx plus p y equals to q same scenario whatever is in the operator d by dx was the operator in this case so we did integrating factor as e power p dx here you see dy here so e power p dy fine uh, we keep on integrating then finally because z was a function of y also so replace this c by a function of x then direct integration to get z and in case of direct integration integrating with respect to y so the constant will be in terms of x so that's it from my side hope you understood this question finally if not do ask in comment as to which portion you were not able to understand i will take at least one problem more on this type so that it gets even more clearer that's it from my side. You can watch my uh, playlist on partial differential equation for even more crystal clear concept. Thanks and have a nice day.